வாரம் வெல்கம் டு சைக்கோ ஸ்பிரிச்சுவல் அவைக்கன் லிவிங் இன் ஃப்ரீடம் டேக் அ மோமெண்ட் ஐ இன்வைட் யூ நவ் டு ஸ்பெண்ட் சம் டைம் இன் ப்ரேயர் அண்ட் ரிஃப்ளெக்ஷன் லெட் த ஹோலி ஸ்பிரிட் லீட் யூ இன் டு அண்ட் என்கவுண்டர் வித் ஜீசஸ் அண்ட் த ஃபாதர் If you don't know where to begin, start with the scripture. Perhaps some of the scriptures we have been drawing from the Bible, which you like the most. Open your heart and let yourself be drawn into the passages as though you were one of the people in the scene. Do you feel called to be the woman of a woman at a well? John 4. the lame man beside the pool of Bethsaida John 5 the woman caught in adultery John 8 of the blind Bartimaeus Mark 10 46 to 52 perhaps it is a different image let the spirit lead you by your desires and be open to whatever he shows you then record all that is spoken in a notebook or a journal or share with someone as you uh, complete the time of prayer try to write out the following what did you experience in your prayer time what did you believe about yourself did you encounter jesus what happened did you face any barriers how did jesus address this do you experience healing in the process Which are the seven signs of healing were present when you finished? After prayer, do you experience a greater freedom? Describe it. Write out a prayer thanking Jesus for what he showed you. One of the most telling indicators that we have received healing in our body, soul and spirit is is an increased awareness of a new interior freedom this will be our focus in our life when we think about living in freedom living in freedom in reality freedom is a greater gift only when we know how to use it consciously for everything that is our true good Freedom is a great gift. The desire for it is written deeply within each of our hearts. And yet, we often exercise our liberty in ways that we do not bring about our true and lasting good. As a result, we are left imprisoned, bound up in shame and hiding behind walls of fear and self-protection. we remain driven by our wounds and compulsions and become slaves of sin there is a common broken human conditions we are all fallen and desperately in need of christ to redemption we need this his healing to release us from slavery to corruption so that we can share in the glorious freedom of the children of God. Freedom for its own sake is wonderful but not enough. We must learn how to use it consciously for everything that is our true good. Being set free from strongholds, the seven deadly sins and seven deadly wounds is a greater, great freedom. but it cannot be our ultimate goal we must exercise our new found freedom for the good of everyone around us and ultimately for the glory of god our wounds come from fractured relationship with god ourselves and others when these ruptures are healed we can live in the freedom of the holy spirit as the father's beloved sons and daughters healing is communion this is the only true and lasting freedom the kind that blesses others never considers using them healing is communion 
The glorious liberty allows us to see others and know, know who they are and what they need. We become capable of perceiving the good of those around us and in the process discover the greatest possible good for ourselves, our dignity and our purpose. St. John Paul II was fond of quoting the Second Vatican Council in this regard. Man cannot fully find himself without making a sincere gift of himself. Our true freedom comes as we learn how to receive God's love and then give it away. This is the glorious liberty that the young man John eventually experienced after a long and difficult struggle in his tender age. Compare your life too and get the inner healing and inner freedom. Healing is communion. May God bless you. Inspiration ripples. Thank you. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, Mail Tonal Sadie. Nirewakum, Nirewakum.